Dear colleagues, this I had angle closure glaucoma. You can see the PI at 9 o'clock. The antechamber is very shallow. The patient has developed cataract now. And I have taken up the case for surgery. The main incision has been made. This is the side port on the right side of the main incision. In this case, I have planned to use adrenaline as well as BHEX as pupil expansion devices. This is the adrenaline. After using adrenaline, the pupil dilated a bit and I was thinking whether I should use BHEX or not. Then I thought the cataract is soft and I may have lot of problem during nucleus management. So I caved the idea of using BHEX. The antechamber has been stained with tripan blue dye. Now what is BHEX? BHEX is a hexagonal people expansion device. It's a versatile device. It has been invented by Dr. Suvan Bhattacharji from Kolkata, India. It's a beautiful device. You will love it. Just watch. Now, viscoelastic substance is being injected into the anterior chamber. This is HPMC and only HPMC has been used in this case. HPMC is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose 2%. One more side port is to be made for introduction of chopper and manipulation of the BHEX. This is the side port. It is at around 1 o'clock. And now, some viscoelastic substance is being expressed out and some viscoelastic substance is being injected underneath the iris to make some space between the iris and the anterior lens capsule so that tucking becomes easy. And now this is the B hex beautiful hexagonal people expansion device. The housing is taken very near the main incision a 23 gauge forceps is used and the device is pulled in the anterior chamber when the device is completely taken into the anterior chamber then the flange which is just opposite the main incision is tucked alternate flanges are tucked I usually tuck the flanges which has holes. It is very easy to hold the flange at the middle with the hole. Now I have applied some viscoelastic substance over the corneal epithelium so that I can see better. Yes, now the view has improved. Now I am introducing the 23 gauge forceps through the right side port. Hold the flange here at the middle of the flange and tuck it like this. Perfect. And now I go through the left side port, one o'clock side port, fix the eyeball. Hold the flange, which is at around 9 o'clock now, and tuck the flange nicely. That's it. Now the pupil has taken hexagonal shape. And during surgery, it will not constrict. I will have no problem during management of the nucleus. Now this is the capsulorexis. The anti-capsule has been incised and a very nice capsular flap has been raised. I hold this capsular tag with the forceps, 
go anticlockwise and very close to the margin of this hexagonal paper and do a nice rexus. That's it. See, this device, this B hex doesn't cause any hindrance at any step of the surgery. Hydrodissection is being done. The device is causing no hindrance. The nucleus is depressed. It is rotated. So, hydrodissection has been very satisfactory. Viscoelastic substance is again injected into the anterior chamber. And now, this is the FACO handpiece. This is Oatly Catarix 3 FACO machine from Switzerland. Now, see how to do mechanical chop. Mechanical chop is you don't use any vacuum. Just make a small pit just in front of the main incision and support the nucleus with the FACO tip and use the chopper to slice the nucleus into pieces. Here it is. Make a small pit just in front of the main incision. Now just engage the tip there. Don't use vacuum and support the nucleus with the FACO tip and use the chopper to this is a beautiful device. I got this tip from Dr. Sri Ganesh, founder and director of Netrodhama Super Speciality Eye Hospital at Bangalore. He's a beautiful person. I was with him, with him for a couple of days and he gave me several tips. This is one, mechanical chop. And one more tip he gave, I'm going to show very soon. That is, polishing of the posterior capsule with irrigating jet of fluid without using any vacuum. The nucleus is being managed at this time. FACO power being used is very minimal, only 30%. Flow rate is 35 and vacuum is 350 millimeter of mercury in this case. That's it. The nucleus has been managed. Epinucleus is also coming off. Yes, the epinucleus also has come off. Good. Now, cortex has to be removed. Viscoelastic substance is injected again and now I'm going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration and see the people expansion device doesn't cause any problem, any hindrance in the irrigation aspiration because the iris is at its normal position. Iris hooks, pulls off the iris. Here the iris is at its original place and see how easily the cortex is being removed by bimanual IA. And this is hydro polish. Polishing the posterior capsule with irrigating jet of fluid without actually touching the anterior, uh, sorry, in touching the posterior capsule. So this is called no touch technique by Dr. Sri Ganesh nice technique and even with calf back mode of uh, polishing I have got PC-Rent but after adopting this technique my PC-Rent has become nil during polishing of the posterior capsule. Now viscoelastic substance is injected again and in this case a very beautiful lens is being implanted. This is Technis single piece intraocular lens, Technis 1 from Abbott Medical Optics. It's a beautiful lens, no financial interest, 
but I like this lens very much because I don't see any discoloration, any glistening over several years follow up, almost 6-7 years of follow up is there, but I don't see any glistening, any discoloration of the lens. That's why I like this lens very much. And now, the B hex people expansion ring is to be removed. Again, I have placed some visco over the corneal epithelium, and you can see the B hex ex ex explant or uh, B hex taking out clearly. How to remove it? Hold the flange which is in front of the iris. I'm holding it at around 4 o'clock and just bringing out the device and all the flanges is, are getting untucked. And now see how to remove it. Very gently just pull it out. Doesn't touch the corneal endothelium. There is a definite gap between the device and the corneal endothelium. So it's a beautiful thing to use in case of small people. Now viscoelastic substance is being removed from anterior chamber from the capsular bag. This is a Simco cannula. And now I am using the irrigation aspiration probes by manual IA for removal of viscoelastic substance. I remove the viscoelastic substance very thoroughly to prevent post-op rise of intraocular pressure in my cases. And see how beautiful the people is. People is round. If I had used, had I used iris hooks, the people would not be so round, so beautiful. And now the side ports are being hydrated. A final AC lavage is performed. Anterior chamber is formed. And the case is concluded. So in this case you have seen mechanical chaff, application of BHEX, removal of BHEX and many other tips. Thank you very much. Hope this video will help you in your practice. Please serve the mankind with great skills.